today's video is slightly different. I said today's video, this is going to be like a few different bits like filmed together, yeah. isn't it? This video is going to be slightly different for our channel um, because it's not our usual Disney and Florida videos. Something more, well, not more but exciting, but exciting. Exciting. Um, so we are in the process of buying our first house. <laughs> um, so it's a very daunting experience, we'll put it that way. <laughs> um, but up to now, it's been like a really pleasant and exciting reality. experience and you st hear these stories of people who have like really stressful experiences and horror stories about like solicitors being slow and things like that but We've we're really that. happy with touch everything wood. up to now touch wood because <laughs> we don't want to jinx anything um but yeah everything seems to be going really really well um so we started our whole like Experience. house buying journey um a month ago today is it a month ago today a month ago today oh. <laughs> today is tuesday 14th of july um and we originally went viewing the property on the 13th of june um which is a saturday not that that makes any difference but saturday the 13th of june we went viewing two properties both new builds um just not for any specific reason. Just different builders, weren't they? But just different builders. We weren't solely looking for new builds. We just saw these developments, liked the look of them, wanted to have a mooch, basically. Yeah. Um, we didn't go out that day thinking that we would be reserving a property. <laughs> so we didn't have like our decision in principle or your mortgage in principle. We didn't have anything, um, did we? We didn't have that like ready. Um, but we went viewing this particular house and fell in love with it, didn't yeah. we? Um, we went viewing felt... this one second, didn't we? It just like blew the first one like yeah. completely out of the water. The first one was nice, don't get us wrong, but it just wasn't for us. No. Um, this one just felt really homely, didn't it? Mm. As soon as we walked in, we just knew, didn't we? Yeah, we loved it. Um, so we went back into the sales office and we were like, how? We put our name down on this house. We're a bit cooler than that. We were like, yes, we really like it. No, I was like, please tell me I won't put my name on this house. I want it. I want it. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, we, so we spoke to the lady in the sales office, who by the way is lovely. So she told us that they didn't actually need a decision in principle to put a reserve on the house. Um, we just needed to get um, a reservation number or a, confirmation number the green from line, it? something called the new homes mortgage helpline um so we just had to ring them um go through like an affordability check with them to confirm that we would be able to afford the house um so we the way that we've done it um we are paying a five percent deposit um we're making use of the government's help to buy equity loan scheme um so they loan you 20 percent of the property value and then you need to get a 75 percent mortgage um so our affordability and everything went from the 75 percent mortgage um which has worked out really well for us um because it's allowed us to get yeah. a house that's a bit bigger than we thought we would be able so to get. So I just thought buy a house that's like a little bit more than what we originally budgeted for. Aren't it? Yeah, so it's like a house that's going to be more long term than your typical like first house would be. Um, it's a nice size, it's bigger than we expected we would get for our first house. It's big enough for both of us and some, isn't it? Big enough for both of us, big enough to bring children up in the future. Mm -hmm. um, it's just... It's just perfect for yeah. us, isn't it? We're really excited about it. Um, we keep going to the building site and like Sneak having sick. a look through the windows. <laughs> we keep saying like our neighbours must think we're such weirdos, like pressing our noses <laughs> up against the windows. But we're just like seeing like the progress, progress. of it. Um, the house isn't ready yet. Um, so obviously it's July now. The house is due to be ready for us to move in in September. So it's... In the grand scheme of things, it's not a long time at no. all, is it? It's built and everything. They're just doing like putting the kitchen in, putting Internal the flooring things. down. The kitchen's in, isn't it? It's just like it. little 
cupboard doors that need going on on like the, the boiler fix, yeah. flooring like Ben said so we did actually get a few or a lot of incentives with our house um, so we've got flooring throughout um, we've got turfing and fencing got in the garden tiles. which you don't usually get in the new build houses no. do you we've got like Ben said upgraded tiles um, an additional shower um, integrated appliances and entrance matting entrance matting which sounds so fancy but actually doesn't look that fancy but we'll it's, probably change you know. it but it's there um what else i feel like there's such a huge long list of things that we got and i can't think of them all um Flooring. like fancy yeah, we've got fancy chrome trims yeah. in the bathroom um We've got the antique or flooring, which is We've got antique really good apparently. We've got antique flooring in the kitchen diner, which is like fancy flooring. <laughs> just flooring. Um, yeah, it's just flooring to us. Um, so yeah, we have got a lot to talk about. We do kind of want this video to not be us just waffling on about how excited we are about buying a house. We do want it to be helpful. Informative. Um, and informative because we've been watching a few videos on like house buying and there's not really that many out there um so this video will be us waffling on about how excited we are about <laughs> buying a house but we also do want to like go through the process so we are a month in um the first thing we had to do like we mentioned was to ring the new homes mortgage help just line to be able to put our reservation to down, put our reservation down. So we had to pay £500 to reserve our plot, um, which does come off our deposit price. So it's not like an additional fee. It, it is redeemable against your deposit. Yeah. Um, so we did that. Um, then within 48 hours of reserving, we had to get in touch with the solicitor, didn't we? Yeah, get in touch with the, with the solicitor that we wanted to, you know, act on our behalf. Act on our behalf. And we had to like instruct them that we wanted them to take control of our purchase. Which is tricky in itself because it's trying to find the right one. The one that's going to be good enough, one that's going to be quick, one that's yeah. cheap enough. I mean, I know it sounds, you don't want to be cheap with these kind of things, but, but some of some them have do charge you know, like ridiculous amounts. A lot. Um, so we actually went with one that was recommended by the building company. Mm. Um, we did have a different one in mind um, and she gave us like an honest review that a few other people who were purchasing did have trouble with this particular solicitor. Just a local one wasn't it? Just a local solicitor and one person on the estate did actually almost lose the house because the solicitor was so slow and they didn't nearly didn't get it all Taking done in so time. Um, so we didn't want to risk it. No. We have our hearts set on this house so we didn't want to risk losing it. Um, so we went with the one that they recommended and they did actually work out better price than the one we were looking at. Yeah. Um, because obviously working in partnership they get reduced fees, fees and things. They've already got all the, um, so the searches fees, already done. They do, they do a regularly. mass search before. Mass search before and then like regular interval yeah. ones don't they? Um, so yeah we're really happy with our solicitor. Um, the first thing we had to send to them was copy of our reservation form and then from that they sent us forms just to for us to like declare that it was us so we had to send them id and all signatures and things yeah. on like that we knew everything about the property um which we were happy with we sent off um then it was time to sort out mortgage. a mortgage <laughs> so we went with the financial advisor just somebody um, to help us through it because like i said we've never bought a house before we didn't want to go and like fill out an application form in wrong or well, get the wrong mortgage for your first house you don't really know about <laughs> mortgages do you so <laughs> we wanted somebody who knows exactly what they're doing to just take control of yeah. it for us and he was excellent with us he's too. excellent he's found us a really good mortgage so we're going with nationwide for our mortgage we actually get 500 pound cash back so free money, Ching -ching. Free money <laughs> is always a bonus um our mortgage repayments are a lot less monthly than what we anticipated which has worked out perfect um we've entered into a five-year fixed term mortgage just because with the whole covid situation going on now interest rates are lower, yeah really low um so we're utilizing 
the low interest rates and to tie you know, ourselves into that for a bit longer. Um, what else? So after that we obviously gave him all those details, any fixed monthly payments that are going out. Um, he did an affordability check didn't he, before yeah. he did anything. So he did an affordability check as well, similar to the new homes helpline did. Um, so just to make sure that it's not going to be a waste of an application to make sure we can definitely afford it. Um, we had to send off our credit scores. We had to send off our credit scores. All we had that. to do like um, fixed monthly outgoings, so phone mm. contracts, gym memberships. They asked about like cars on finance. We don't have that. I don't drive. You own your car, don't I you? Own my car, yeah. So it's things like petrol costs, um, just predicted costs. That just silly things that you wouldn't think about, isn't it? Yeah, like transport gym costs, gym memberships, um, things Spotify. That, Netflix, Spotify, <gasps> things that you don't usually like miss going out of your bank account because they're Just £5 a, yeah. here and there, like, but you do have to take it all into consideration to make sure that you can cover the costs of everything. Um, so we did all that, he came back then with a decision in principle and then actually went in and did the mortgage application. Yep. Um, now we're at the stage of do you want to hold that? Yeah. <laughs> we're at the stage of having a ridiculously large <laughs> amount of paperwork to sign from our solicitor. So to put it into perspective, I'm gonna show it you upside down because obviously I'm not gonna show who our solicitor is. But we have this chunky 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 loveliness. Novel sized thing of paperwork that we need to sign so our solicitor is actually marked um all the places that we need to sign um obviously with legal things solicitors you do need to get a witness to obviously witness your signing to make sure it is you um so we've had to sort all that out we did actually get an email today um to say that they've had the authority to exchange contracts. Yeah. So as soon as we get this paperwork back to them and transfer over our deposit, it should be we're good to go good with to exchanging go, yeah. contracts. Um, obviously, I think there is like a difference in the term of like exchanging contracts when it comes to a new build. Because um, like I said, our house isn't ready until September. September. So I don't know if it's just like... Um, like an intermittent exchange of contracts and then there'll be like another exchange on the day that we get our keys. We're not entirely sure. Well, I think the, the exchange contracts is just to sell like, you know, we're committed to buying this house. Yeah. So and I then, think we'll then have like legal ownership of that house and then technically. on the day when we get the keys, I assume that maybe that that'll be the day that the solicitors will transfer the full Yeah, they hold the funds, they'll don't they? hold the funds. So we get the keys. So it's all very confusing. But it just sounds exciting, doesn't it, yeah. saying that we're exchanging contracts? <laughs> <laughs> um, so we, so yeah, with a new build, um, you do get warranties um, with with it. So we are covered for ten years with the new homes. What's it what are they called? National House Builders Registration Council. So it's called an NHBC warranty and insurance. So we get that for 10 years. When we move in, we also get, is it four months with the builders on site? I don't know, no, six months. With six, the, months six months with, with the builders site, on site. And then site. four years with customer care. Two years with is customer care. Is it two, two care. years? I thought two it was just four. Two years with, <laughs> we should listen more. Well, so basically, it might be four years with that, I and think then two years with customer six care. six months with site. site, the builders on site, um, because she did mention, obviously, there is other properties being built, they're due to be finished building in, is it April 2021? Yeah. Around April next year, all the houses should be finished. Um, so we'll get six months with the builders on site, two years with customer care, and then you get the full 10 years with the NHBC. Um, so it's just good to have that peace of mind, obviously. Yeah. New build properties, you do expect snags, don't you? But with the one that we've gone for, it's had a standards check at each, like, you know, step yeah. of it being so built. with the NHBC, um, usually, you know, like, when you just get um, a check done at the end, it's done at every stage. stage. So if something's not right, it has to be redone. Like, you don't have to worry about anything with... No, any structural, structural faults. Structural faults or anything like that. 
we should be everything's checked yeah everything should be and if it's not up to standard really. like Natalie said it, it, it just gets you know pulled down and redone yeah which is excellent really yeah but everything should be like that it just it does just give you peace of mind that when you go in even if there will be snags and faults which you would expect with the you new get build snag house, all new builds. obviously new built houses pipes everything Nothing's like that perfect. you don't know how it's going to work until it starts being used which is obviously going to be when we're in. So if there's anything that's any leaks or cracks, um, things like that, they will look after. Um, obviously they said that with cracks and things, it's to be expected because of settlement and drying out of the house. So we are fully aware that we're yeah. probably going to get that. They only come out if it's like... Bigger than a one pound coin. Like bigger than, than the one thickness of a one pound coin. Um, but again... Little things like that. Little things like that. We can it's sort. easy enough just to like fill over with like polyfill. Yeah, you're quite handy with stuff like that. Yeah. So we know that we're fine with it, but again, it is nice to just know that people are there to look after you and just help yeah, you hold your hand through it. Hold your hand through it. <gasps> hold your hand through it. <laughs> <laughs> so we are those people that <clears throat> have, well, no, let's rephrase that. <laughs> I am that person that's very organised. Thank God. Keeps everything together and it's separate files. And we have got the cutest thing ever because we have stickers. <laughs> so we got the file that says you can never dream too big from Tesco. And then our lovely friend Shannon. Sorry, I nearly whacked yeah. you in the face in the file. <laughs> <laughs> Our lovely friend Shannon, who owns Hamilton Crafts, I'm sure you've all seen her page on Instagram and she has an eBay shop. Um, she does these amazing vinyl stickers. stickers. Excellent. So she was very kind and sent us these. Um, so it says our first home and then Natalie and Ben 2020. Thank you, Shannon. Thanks, Shannon. Like, it's just so lovely. Um, really special for us because obviously all our important things are here but it's nice and personal to us um so yeah it's just nice having Cute. everything in one place um i feel like we waffled a bit more than we said we were going to waffle or i waffle the people love the waffle i waffle a lot anyway <laughs> um have we missed anything is there anything else like important that we need to update on mm, no let us know if you want like a possible house tour when we move in Sick that though, wouldn't it? Think of all our decorations. So, obviously, we hope that this has been helpful in some way. Um, this isn't probably going to be the end of the vlog. We'll probably put in some little Bits. snippets of us like buying house stuff, and when we do come to exchanging contracts, we'll obviously update you and any other little bits along the way. Um, and then we will more than likely do maybe like a moving vlog, probably a moving yeah. day, just to. See how all that goes. Depends um, how stressed we're. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful in some way and that we didn't waffle too much. Too much. <laughs> Any questions, just leave them down below. Any questions, leave down below for us. We will do our best to answer them, although we are not house buying experts. <laughs> um, and yeah. If you want some vinyl stickers, and we'll... If you um, want some vinyl stickers... We'll link Shannon's page in the, <laughs> in the description. Yeah, we're going to link Shannon's page because we love her and it's nice to support small yeah. businesses, isn't it? Um, so yeah, we will see you, see you soon. soon. Bye. <laughs>
and maybe a bench for the kitchen. Um, yeah, More we're getting there. We're happy with our bed and coach choices. So just little bits and bobs, right? And now going for celebratory wagamamas because why not? Sure. <laughs> da 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 da. <laughs> so dramatic. Look at that panning in. <laughs> Oh yeah. Right, Duck Guy Oz was a call in our name. Okay, Wagamama's was closed, but we just got a Nando. Change of plans. Change of plans and a drive because we were at one place. Ben ordered a Nando's thinking it was from the one that we were parked right at the side of and it actually wasn't. So good ten just minute a good drive, ten minute drive just to get some chicken, but worth every minute. Worth every minute. Hi everyone, so just a quick little update in the house buying process. Um, today is the following day from when we filmed the intro, so it's Wednesday the 15th of July. Um, today I sent over the deposit to the solicitors. What a stress. <laughs> it was fine, like everything went fine, but I was so nervous that I was going to write in the details wrong. Um, I was scared that some random person was going to end up with all that money in their account and I wouldn't be able to get it back. Um, thankfully I got it right because we have had um, confirmation from the solicitor that they've received the deposit. Um, so obviously that is a huge like weight lifted to hear like confirmation that they've got it. Um, but yeah and another thing is horrible <laughs> seeing that much money go out of your account in one go. Obviously, it's amazing because it feels so much more real now that that's done. But when you've been saving for so long and then all that money just goes, like, it's a stress. But it's fine. I'm happy about it. Like, I'm just so glad that that bit is done. So we've just got the paperwork to sign. We're going to go and actually drop that off at the solicitors tomorrow. Um just to get it to them quicker and not have to worry about like postage delays or anything like that so yeah things are moving along so i thought it would be funny as well to show you the absolute carnage that is my dressing room at my dad's house um me and ben have been super organized and we have been buying a lot in preparation um bear in mind that it's july and we're only moving in september but my dressing room is pretty much full to bursting. There's stuff in my dad's bedroom because we, there's no space in there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you because it is kind of funny. So, like I said, we have been super organized and we have already got quite a lot of stuff. Um, so we've got our duvet. Um, in this bag, we've got curtains, um, hand towels, cushions, bath mats um, there's like bath towels and all sorts in this bag um this one has got all our wax melts we've put all our um like unused ones in here so that we can take all like nice fresh ones to the new house um we've got a doormat <laughs> um honestly it's just chaos um prints candles um clock kitchen stuff cleaning stuff um straws and things that i've like accumulated on our disney trips um in this box that's got all our um bath and body works hand washes in <laughs> so they'll be all nice when we move there are just piles and piles of boxes so we have actually been quite organized and i don't know if you can see but we have labeled them so the bottom one has got kitchen things in um pots pans plates like sink caddies all <laughs> exciting stuff like that we've got our hoover we've got our mop we've got cushions for on the couch 
and um, we've got like a decorative vase in here but it is wrapped up so i'm just gonna i'm not gonna bother doing that um cushions to go with the duvet that we showed before um honestly we've just got so much stuff piled up baking trays like pizza trays glasses you can't even really see through the side of the box mugs rolling pins um we've got some photo frames in here that we got in the sale um throws and blankets for like the couches and the beds and stuff toilet brushes because you know keeping it real <laughs> um I think that's like the most part more curtains we've got bedding so there is a box somewhere <laughs> that's got different bedding in um, let me move that before I break it on this side we've got a clothes area we've got like a storage like ottoman kind of thing that we're going to put up we've got a laundry basket yeah I won't lie, this room is just absolute carnage at the minute. It's literally piled high with all sorts. So I'll be glad when all this is in the new house. I'm 99.9% .9 sure that my dad will be very glad when all this is in the new house because at the minute we are pretty much just taking over his house. Um, but yeah, little tour of the things that we've bought um if anybody's interested in like a house like haul i'd be happy to do it but it would probably take a long time and some of it isn't stuff that we've bought specifically for the house um it's kind of stuff that we've accumulated over like different disney trips and stuff as well um but yeah i would be happy to do it if anybody wants to see that if it's something that you're interested in we do also already have our kettle and toaster um, we actually got those for Christmas off family members because they knew that we were looking for a house so we thought it would be best to ask for practical presents so they are actually stored up in the top of the wardrobe at the minute so I'm not going to bother getting them down to show you. Um, we also bought curtain poles and random boring stuff like that we've got a kitchen bin um lights so light fittings for over the dining table and in our second bedroom which is going to be like um walking wardrobe dressing room area um we've got a light for in there we've got a table lamp for in the living room and i think that's it up to now um but yeah we're getting there we feel very organized and we're kind of getting those things you know that some like that you don't think about until you move in so we've bought like a washing line for the garden we've bought pegs we've bought a peg basket <laughs> um just random random stuff but we're getting there and hopefully when we're in we won't have too much that we've forgot we've got cutlery we've got steak knives because love a steak um i'm trying to think if there's anything that we've got that i've not told you about but yeah i think we're pretty much set we just need to get like little bits and bobs hi huns hiya <laughs> so we are just on our way to the solicitors to drop this paperwork off and yeah when that's done is that everything done yeah i think more or less i think that's the main bulk paperwork done then so I'm just going to drop this off and yeah where's it going oh and it's this letterbox here post it there it's on his way back there we go oh it doesn't fit doesn't fit oh go on you can do it Ben you can do it hon how was that Ben? 
Why did you go to the other door? So I want to see if there was another lockbox. Look <laughs> okay, how small that one is. Did you manage to get it in? Yeah, it was tough though. I had to get my best origami skills. <laughs> right. So, paperwork is done. We have officially signed, sealed, and delivered. Signed our lives away. Um, yeah, just a waiting game now. We have to just wait and see what they tell us. Oh my god, it's really awkward like filming in the car. People are like looking at us weird when they drive past. Yes, we're <laughs> documenting our lives. <laughs> Anything to add, Ben? video until we actually move in um so today is sunday the 19th the 13th in ben's eyes it's sunday the 19th of july um and on friday just gone um we exchanged contracts so that means because I know when we did our like intro to the video we were kind of confused on like the meaning of exchanging contracts um, with a new build so our solicitor did actually explain it to us when she um, emailed, emailed us well, like with confirmation so basically she said that exchange is when they swap our signed copy of the contract for an identical contract signed by the seller um, so this is when you become legally committed to purchase the property and the seller is committed to sell it to you um, and then obviously so that's the exchanging contracts part of it and then completion is when the builder receives the building guarantee we then attend the homes demonstration and about 10 working days later we're given the keys um, and then that's when you do pay the final balance payable um, so the anticipated completion window given for our property is September like we said um, so it's just a waiting game for us now really um, because everything on like the legal side is done is it? yeah like, everything done? everything's um, done we just have to wait for the, everything to be completed on the property yeah. everything to be like put in and then it to be passed you know pass all its checks yeah please ignore the Santa hat here as well by the way oh. um, we are in Ben's work van at the minute because he's on call today um, but he's not had anything yet so we are going to still go and do some shopping um, we're just going to go to a couple of like mills so we're going to somewhere called Oswald Whistle Mill and maybe Boundary Mill as well if we get time um, but first we're making a stop off at Lulu's um, for some sweet treats so we'll show you those when we get them <laughs> Oswald Twistle Mill first. Um, what actually, I've not been to Oswald Twistle Mill in years. No, no. 
just going to go for a peru. We don't know what to expect, but we're going to go and have a mooch around and so all those good house things. hopefully find some nice things. Yeah, we have been recommended to it, recommended it for like little bits of furniture and like house bits. So we'll go, we'll have a look. If it's rubbish, we'll just go. Yeah. Come for the <laughs> So Hi. we've we've now left Oslo to Summill and all it round, got some um solar lights for the garden. Um It was good in there, wasn't it? Yeah, it was better than we expected to be there. There's loads of nice um, like furniture bits, but we've already got like our couch and well, most of it, aren't we? so we obviously couldn't get any of that. We was looking for dining chairs. They had some really nice ones but we've seen like similar ones in other places that are a bit cheaper, so probably go for the cheaper ones to be yeah. honest. So we're just at Boundary Mill. I'm um, just going to have a quick look in here, but first we're going to get some fish and chips. Lego! A successful shop at Boundary Mill. We've got pots and pans, little coffee cups, cushions, and then there's a bag full of other little cups and stuff. So, yeah, Success. good shop, successful shop. <laughs> so, these are all the treats that we got from Lulu's. Um, so, I said I would show you when we got home. So, this is the shop for anybody that's never heard of it. Um, it's so good. Um, so they do like pre-orders, they do like cakes, crates with meringues and cake balls and macaroons. It's so good. Um, but once a month they do this pop-up shop where you can actually just go in and just buy what you want. Um, so we got two big meringues. So the blue one is candy floss and then the pink one underneath is raspberry. Um, we put them into one bag and then we could use one to cover it up. Um, so in this box we've got this huge cherry bake well that Ben got. Um, ben got all of these. So he's got a Jammy Dodger Blondie. Um, I think, oh that one's mine at the bottom. I got a Kinder Bueno Blondie. And then he got two Double Decker brownies which they look so good this box smells incredible i wish you could smell this <laughs> um and then we also got macaroons and cake balls these cake balls are amazing we got these last time so i had to get them again um but yeah i'm pretty sure that this box won't last us very long <laughs> because everything is just so good we will literally eat this within like a few days ben's just nipped out don't tell him, but... Mmm. So good. This one is a Nutella. Nutella macaroon. Amazing. So I'm currently just putting today's purchases in what is essentially our junk room. Um, I, I said junk room, it is all stuff for the house, but... It's just mental at the minute. <laughs> so I think I'm going to end this video vlog kind of thing here. Um, just because it is already quite a long video with like the different days put together. Um, and like I mentioned we did exchange contracts on Friday. Um, so we probably won't get another update now until like September. Um, when it's time for our home demo and our moving date. Um, so yeah I obviously don't want it to be like a huge long video if we put all that into one as well um so i'm thinking we might do like a moving vlog um on the day when we move in like just showing what it's like getting our keys and moving everything into the house um <coughs> sorry um so yeah let me know if you would be interested in that if you want any q and a's or like any information or help on buying a house or buying a new build house um like i mentioned way earlier in the video we are not experts by any means um but if we can help anybody then obviously we would love to do that 
um so yeah if you do have any questions or any video suggestions if you are even interested in house kind of videos um yeah just let me know in the comments below um and thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed and we will see you in our next video bye